Magnus Olafsson, better known as Magnus the Good, was the king of Norway from 1035 and king of Denmark from 1042, ruling over both countries until his death in 1047. He was an illegitimate son of Olaf II of Norway, but fled with his mother when his father was dethroned in 1028. He returned to Norway in 1035 and was crowned king at the age of 11. In 1042, he was also crowned king of Denmark. Magnus ruled the two countries until 1047, when he died under unclear circumstances. After his death, his kingdom was split between Harald Hardrada in Norway and Swain Estridsson in Denmark. Early life. Magnus was an illegitimate son of King Olaf Haraldsson, by his English concubine Alfhild, originally a slave of Olaf's queen Astrid Olaf's daughter. Born prematurely, the child was weak and unable to breathe for the first few minutes, and he was probably not expected to survive. Olaf was not present at the child's birth, and his Icelandic skald Sigvat Thorthasin became his godfather. In a hasty baptism, Sigbert named Magnus after the greatest king he knew of, also Olaf's greatest role model, Carla Magnus, or Charlemagne. Against the odds, Magnus went on to grow strong and healthy, and he became of vital importance to Olaf as his only son. Olaf was dethroned by the Danish king Cnut the Great in 1028, and he went into exile with his family and court, including the young Magnus. They travelled over the mountains and through Eidskog during the winter, entered Varmland, and were given shelter by a chieftain called Sigtrigin Nark. After a few months, they departed Nark, and by March went eastwards towards Sigtuna, where the Swedish king Annan Jacob had left them a ship. The party thereafter sailed through the Baltic Sea and into the Gulf of Finland, eventually landing in Kiev and Rus. They made their first stop at Stair Isla Doga to organize the further journey. From there they traveled southwards to Novgorod, where Olaf sought assistance from Grand Prince Yaroslav the Wise. Yaroslav, however, did not want to become directly involved in the Scandinavian power struggles, and declined to help. After some time, in early 1030, Olaf learned that the Earl of Laid Haken Eriksson, CNUT's regent in Norway, had disappeared at sea, and gathered his men to make a swift return to Norway. Magnus was left to be fostered by Yaroslav and his wife and Jedjid. In early 1031, a party including Magnus's uncle Harald Sigurdsson arrived to report the news of his father's death at the Battle of Stiklestad. For the next few years, Magnus was educated in Old Russian and some Greek and was trained as a warrior. After CNUT's death in 1035, the Norwegian nobleman did not want to be under the oppressive rule of his son Sven and his mother Eilf Gifu any longer. Einworth Ambaskel Fear and Kalfarnesson, who had both sought to be appointed regents under CNUT after Olaf's death in 1030 went together to Kiev in Ross to bring the boy back to rule as the king of Norway. After receiving the approval of Ingegid, they returned with Magnus to Sigtuna in early 1035, and received backing from the Swedish king, brother of Magnus's stepmother Astrid. Astrid immediately became an important supporter of Magnus, and an army was gathered in Sweden, headed by Einar and Kalf, to place Magnus on the Norwegian throne. King of Norway and Denmark. Magnus was proclaimed king in 1035, at 11 years of age, and Sven and his mother fled. Sven died shortly after. At first Magnus sought revenge against his father's enemies, but on Sigvar's advice he stopped doing so, which is why he became known as Good or Noble. Another son of CNUT, Harthiknut, was on the throne of Denmark and wanted his country to reunite with Norway. While Magnus initiated a campaign against Denmark around 1040, however, the noblemen of both countries brought the two kings together at the Gotha River, the border between their kingdoms. 
They made peace and agreed that the first of them to die would be succeeded by the other. In 1042 Harthacnut died while in England, and Magnus also became king of Denmark, in spite of a claim by CNUT's nephew Swain Astridsen, whom Harthacnut had left in control of Denmark when he went to England, and who had some support. As part of consolidating his control, Magnus destroyed the Jomsborg, headquarters of the Joms Vikings. Swain fled east and returned as one of the leaders of an invasion by the Wends in 1043, which Magnus decisively defeated at the Battle of Lyskov Heath, near Hedeby. In the battle, Magnus wielded St. Olaf's battle axe, named Hel after the goddess of death. He had dreamt of his father the night before, and the Norwegians swore that before the battle they could hear the bell that St. Olaf had given to the Church of St. Clement in Kaupang, in Nidaris, a sign that the saint was watching over his son and the army. It was the greatest victory ever over the Wends, with up to 15,000 killed. Swain continued to oppose Magnus in Denmark, although according to Heim Skringler, they reached a settlement by which Swain became Earl of Denmark under Magnus. Magnus wanted to reunite CNUT the Great's entire North Sea Empire by also becoming King of England. When Harthacnut died, the English nobles had chosen as their king Ethelred the Unready's son Edward. Magnus wrote to him that he intended to attack England with combined Norwegian and Danish forces and he will then govern it who wins the victory. The English were mostly hostile to Magnus. Swain was made welcome there. Although Edward's mother, Emma, curiously favoured Magnus and in 1043 the king confiscated her property with which by one report she had promised to assist Magnus. Meanwhile, Magnus' her uncle Harald Sigurdsson had returned to Norway from the east and contested his rule there. While Swain was still a threat in Denmark, Harald allied himself with Swain. Magnus chose to appease Harald and made him his co-king in Norway in 1046. Death Swain increased the pressure on Magnus from his base in Scania, but by late 1046, Magnus had driven Swain out of Denmark. However, on October 25, 1047 he died suddenly while in Denmark, either in Zealand or in Jutland, either in an accident or of a disease, accounts vary. Reports include falling overboard from one of the ships he was mustering to invade England and drowning, falling off a horse and falling ill while on board a ship. He is said to have made Swain his heir in Denmark, and Harold in Norway, some say in a deathbed statement. Magnus was buried with his father in the cathedral at Nidaris, modern Trondheim. Physical appearance. Snorra describes Magnus as of middle height, with regular features and light complexion. He had light blonde hair, was well spoken and quick to make up his mind, was of noble character, most generous, a great warrior, and most valorous, descendants. The line of Olaf II ended with Magnus our death. However, in 1280 Eric II of Norway, who was descended through his mother from Magnus' a legitimate sister, Wolfhild, was crowned king of Norway. Magnus was not married, but had a daughter out of wedlock, Branhild, who married Harkin of Arsen, a Norwegian nobleman. Her great-grandson would become King Eric III of Denmark. Ancestry Magnus or ancestry according to the sagas, although scholars now doubt that he was directly descended from Harold Fairhair. Bibliography. Morten. Oystein. Magnus den Goda. Saga Kongen. Spartacus. Saga Bok. ISBN 9788243005822.